Hey, Brian, it's David Hood with Tiger Nat. A lot of injuries along the, you know, the defense uh, linebacker, Tyler Davis, not sure if he'll be back. Um, young guys, you don't put any extra pressure on yourselves, I'm sure, trying to make up for those guys. But kind of what is your mindset? You know, knowing everybody has to step up just a little bit to, to try and, and make up for those guys. Yeah, I mean, we're all very well prepared. You know, we all come in and practice hard every week. And, you know, I mean, we, we definitely wish we had those guys. You know, they're all – everybody who's, who's injured right now, they're all great players. But we all we all prepare like we're going to be the guy for that week. So, no matter no matter who gets hurt or whatever happens, I think we're all we're all prepared to, to take that role and, and – Sorry, into a, to step up into into whatever role we need to. Coach Sweeney said you've played in six games. You're not a freshman anymore. Do you do you still feel like a freshman, or, or do you feel like you know now I'm I'm starting to finally get a grasp on everything? Yeah, I definitely feel like you know like from the first game to now I've, I've kind of uh, gotten gotten a real feel for what college football is like and 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 everything like that. So. I mean, I'm definitely, there's still a lot of stuff to learn. You know, it's, it's still all new to me, but um, I'm, I think I'm starting to get my feet under myself now. Hey, Brian, it's Trevor from CUTigers.com here. Um, if you could just take us back to Saturday, that, that play that you made, forcing the fumble and the scoop and score, obviously that was a huge momentum play and seemed to kind of to reinvigorate the entire team and, and the crowd in Death Valley. Just, just uh, what do you recall about that play? Um, I mean, Mike Jones did a great job of blitzing off the edge and um, and holding the holding the quarterback. I knew he probably wished he's, he, he he was able to get him down, but you know, I think it all worked out. And uh, I was at nose and had a little stunt called, so I uh, was working around and I saw Mike just holding on, holding on, and he wasn't letting go. So when I got around the edge, I saw the quarterback. I think he like right then he thought he was about to break free, so he kind of pulled the ball back out like he was going to throw it or something. And I got there like right in the right at the perfect time to, to kind of knock the ball loose. And when I went down, I saw the ball land next to me and I saw no lineman coming down on it. So I tried to punch it out. And, you know, Andrew Booth was right there to pick it up and take it to the house. Brian, you're about to go against uh, Boston College on Saturday. Um, David Bailey um, had probably his best rushing game this past week. Uh, he's a big bruising type of running back. Do you, you think he might be uh, the, the most challenging back that you've gone against as an interior defensive lineman? Um, I think every back has their own challenges. He's actually from uh, close to where I'm from back home. So we actually almost played their team in high school. So uh, Right, I Maryland to... kid. Say it again. That's right. He's a Maryland kid, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we almost played them in high school. So I watched a little bit of tape on him way back when. But yeah, I mean, he, every I think every back has their own challenges. And like you said, he's a he's a big, powerful back who's able to break a lot of arm tackles. And uh, so I mean, it's just it's a challenge of its own. Um, I think you know we we're just gonna prepare and and hopefully you know we just do what we do. Hey, Brian, it's Josh from the Post and Courier. Can, can you speak to, to James Skowski as a leader and, and some of the things that you've learned from him? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely he's a great leader. He um, Ever since I have came in in uh, January, he's been there for me. Whatever questions I have, um, you know, I'd go in and watch film with him. He, uh, you, know, you can just feel when he's when he's in the game with you or you're in practice with him. He just takes control of the whole defense and just you feel, it's just like it's like a sense of like, you're like calm when he's in because you know he's taking care of everything and he's, he's always like positive towards everybody. He's always in, brings a lot of energy to the team, to the defense, and uh, yeah, like he's just he's he's the, the perfect leader. Whatever you want, you know. So when he's not out there, can you like? Is there? Does it feel like there's something missing in a way? Um, I wouldn't say so. You know, Jake does a great job when he's in too. Like I said, we all prepare the right way. Um, so when Jake's in there, you know, he's the same way he, he's t t or gets in there and, and takes on the role that he has to, and he does a great job as well. You know, he was, he's been awesome. So, um, you know, you definitely miss Kowski, but Jake, Jake's doing a great job. It's David again. Coach, when he said something that was interesting, he was saying that you guys are so prepared defensively. Uh, because there's a silver lining in, in the COVID situation, you were able to do all of those Zoom calls through March and April. How do you learn, you know, to play defense on a Zoom call? And, and how much did that help you in your preparation? Uh, it, 
it helped me a lot, you know, from spring to when I was just here and, you know, really didn't know anything to getting, I mean, we had, we would meet all the time in the spring uh, over Zoom and just watch film and, you know, just whatever we could, we'd go over new plays that Coach V was putting in at home, all that kind of stuff. So um, it definitely helped me a lot because I was able to, it, just, it slowed everything down for me as well. You know, it wasn't like I was learning a bunch of new stuff and had to put it in for like, go practice it that day. So, you know, it was, it was like I was getting everything a little, like a little bit slower and was able to kind of digest everything that I was getting. So it helped me a lot when I came back, um, when we all came back and we're just doing, you know, practices and just, you know, when it was just a team out here, like going over plays, um, <clears throat> it, uh, it was a huge help. Cause you know, like I said, it was just, I was getting everything a lot slower and, uh, you know, I was able to kind of take it all in. Hey, Brian, it's Mark from WIFF. How would you evaluate how you've played over the first six games of your Clemson career? Um, I feel like, you know, I've done a pretty good job uh, uh, learning everything, and, and I still have a lot of work to do, you know, with my technique, and, and I mean a bunch of stuff, pad level, a lot of stuff that I still need to work on. But, um, you know, from from what I've been – what just from, from the first couple games, what I've what – I've, uh, you know, plays wise, learning what I had to do. Um, I feel like that's been my main, my main, my main thing that I've been able to do pretty well. Just knowing what I have to do, learning different packages and things, uh, different positions. I think I've done a pretty good job with all that kind of stuff. Coach Venable said yesterday, "You're a you're a sponge. You're a guy who doesn't really make the same mistakes twice." Do you pride yourself on, on your ability to pick up the, the mental side of the game? Because we all knew about your great physical talents coming in, but but your ability to kind of grab things quickly mentally is that something you pride yourself on? Uh, yeah, I mean, I like I don't like to like Coach V said if he if I get on if he gets on me about something once I uh, I don't like to make that same mistake again. So uh, you know I like you know I think just being like a, a student of the game and learning everything I can and not making mistakes or if I do not making them again I think that's a that's a huge deal for me. So yeah.